This is it, man. It's time to make this city our. We come to this moment carried by the sacrifices and courage of our fellows. Those who have fallen. Those still bearing the shields to our right. On this day, our enemy will know the fullness of our determination, the true depth of our anger, and the exalted righteousness of our cause. The gods are watching. The spirits of our ancestors are stirring. And men, under suns yet to dawn, will be transformed by what we do here today. Fear neither pain nor darkness, for Sovereign God awaits those who die with weapons in their hands and courage in their hearts. We now fight our way to Castle Dower, to cut the head off the Legion itself. And in that moment, the gods will look down and see Skyrim as she was meant to be, full of lords who are mighty, powerful, and free. Ready now, everyone, with me, for the sons and daughters of Skyrim! the door. Already done. Ulfric, stop it. Stop what? Taking Skyrim back from those who leave her to rot. You're wrong, Ulfric. We need the Empire. Without it, Skyrim will assuredly fall to the Dominion. You were there with us. You saw it. The day the Empire signed that damn treaty was the day the Empire died. You're a damn fool. Stand aside, woman. We've come for the general. He has given up, but I have not. Rekar, go. You're free to leave. I'm also free to stay and fight for what I believe in. You're also free to die. 
This is what she wanted. Shield brothers and sisters killing each other. Families torn apart. This is the Skyrim. woman stand aside. That's not the Skyrim I want. Richard. This is it for you. Any last words before I send you to oblivion? Do you realize this is exactly what they wanted? What who wanted? The Talmar. They stirred up trouble here. Forced us to divert needed resources and throw away good soldiers quelling this rebellion. It's a little more than a rebellion, don't you think? Ha! <sighs> we aren't the bad guys, you know. Maybe not, but you certainly are the good guy. Perhaps you're right. But then what does that make you? You just said it yourself. It makes us right. If I surrender, the Empire I remember never surrendered. That Empire is dead. And so are you. So be it. Just kill him and let's be done with it already. Come, Galmar. Where's your sense of diplomatic form? By the gods. If it's a good ending to some damn story you're after, perhaps the dragon boss should be the one to win. Hmm. Good point. Well, dragon, what do you say? Do you want the honor? Dragon boy. Use my sword. This moment will be more than I saw. Gather the men in the courtyard. Stormblade, I want you to have my sword, a token of my appreciation. Now then, the men will expect a speech. Will you stand by my side? I wish to honor you, Dragonborn, and the truest of Stormcloaks. Very good. Come, the people await us. Now the Sith. Don't you worry about it. Set my best men to round her up. I am indeed Ulfric Stormcloak. And at my side, the man known as Stormblade, and the world knows as the Dragonborn. And indeed, there are many that call us heroes. But it is all of you who are the true heroes. It was you who fought a dying empire, who sunk its claws into our land, trying to drag us down with it. It was you who fought the Valmor and their puppets who would have us deny our gods and our heritage. It was you who fought your kid who didn't understand our cause, who weren't willing to pay the price for our freedom. But more than that, it was you who fought the Skyrim for our right to fight our own battles, to return to our glory and traditions to determine our own future. And it is for these reasons that I cannot accept the mantle of High King. Not until the moot declares that title should adorn my shoulders will I accept it. And what about Jarl Elisif? Yes, what about the Lady Elisif? Will she put aside her personal hatred for me and her misplaced love for the Emperor and his coin so that the suffering of our people will end?
she acknowledge that it is we Nords who will determine Skyrim's future? Will she swear fealty to me, so all may know that we are at peace and a new day has dawned? I do. Then it is settled. The Jarl will continue to rule solitude. I will garrison armies here to ward off Imperial attempts to reclaim the city. And in due time, the Moot will meet and settle the claim to High King once and for all. There is much to do, and I need every able-bodied man and woman committed to rebuilding Skyrim. A great darkness is growing, and soon we will be called to fight it on these shores or a frog. The old fairy dominion may have defeated the Empire, but it has not defeated Skyrim! So bad. 